My dear beloved people of God, do you think that we can earn eternal life? Let's see what the scripture readings of this Sunday have to say. Today we have a very interesting parable in the gospel passage where Jesus is trying to tell us that God is not like us human beings and does not operate in line with our ideas. The first reading taken from the book of prophet Isaiah also highlights the same notion when God says my thoughts are not your thoughts nor are your ways my ways for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts the gospel reading of today presents the parable of the workers in the vineyard where the vineyard is compared to the kingdom of heaven actually everything in god's kingdom is based on grace and therefore god's logic is different from ours and this is made very clear to us in the last line of the passage the first will be last and the last will be first this parable occurs only in the gospel of matthew where it serves to illustrate the principle that is at the end of chapter 19 the previous chapter 19 verse 30 many who are first will be last and many who are last will be first now it is important to know this background to understand today's gospel passage there peter had asked the lord lord what shall we have since we have left everything for your sake the disciples had seen the rich young man go away from jesus sorrowful not willing to pay the price to follow christ the disciples wanted to know what reward would be for them for they had forsaken all for the gospel's sake unlike the rich man jesus in return had promised them a hundredfold so my dear god's people it is important to keep this parable within the context of the refusal of the rich man and jesus's disciples who responded to the first call to discipleship god owes us nothing even if we work for god all our life and whatever we receive from him including the hundredfold we receive solely because of immense graciousness of god or because of god's extra generosity to make this sure that the disciples understood this jesus told them the parable of the workers in the vineyard when you read this parable you may be tempted to declare the owner of the vineyard as unjust because he paid the same amount that is 1 denarius to those who worked for the whole day bearing the heat of the sun and also to those who came very late and worked for few hours the problem of those who think in this way is the envy of the ones who were treated kindly which leads to grumbling against the owner if you are thinking that you have been working sincerely for god and that you have the right or the privilege to expect anything from god then you are mistaken today jesus tells us to stop thinking of our service in terms of debt or an obligation for god instead we have to serve god in the spirit of sons and daughters who serve for the love of heavenly father and not rather than in the spirit of hired men who serve only for the sake of the wages so that understand the meaning of this parable the land owner represents god the manager or the bailiff represents christ at his 
coming. The laborers are all those who have heard the gospel's call to live for him and to use their life to work in his vineyard. The day points to the day of salvation or the day of grace. The hours point to the time when the laborers heard the call and responded. That could be at childhood, that could be at youth, middle age or even just before death. The vineyard represents the kingdom of heaven and all those who responded to the call to enter the vineyard were given the promise of one denarius equivalent to a day's wage. Denarius represents eternal life and was given to all who entered the vineyard. Remember, and this is very, very important, the denarius was not the reward or the wage for the work done in the vineyard, but a gift. And this is clear in this. The last people of the 11th hour received exactly the same amount just as those who came in the early hours of the day to work, which reveals that the denarius symbolizes an unmerited or undeserved reward. My dear God's people, eternal life can never be earned. It is the free gift given by God to those who come to Him in faith, given in grace to all those who believe His promise and respond to His call. At the end, I would leave you with a question. Do we serve God because we love Him rather than because of what we can get Him to do for us? May God bless you all.